Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and we have a question of the evening for all of you. Um, but first, let me get this video. Let me get um, some people into the video and share this video so people can answer the questions as we talk. And also, I will read you the questions as well before we get started. But we have a couple of questions for all of you. So hopefully you can all answer them for us. Okay, just sharing this video before we um, begin. Then we'll get started in a minute. So, um, we're going to get started with the questions for all of you. So, just give me one minute. Okay. Just wanted to share that video. Okay, so we have a question of the evening for all of our viewers, even for the teachers and educators and um, any parents as well that have kids that are in school and things. The question of the evening. So the New Hampshire Department of Education is launching a force to recommend plans for school in the fall. So our question is for all of the teachers, parents, and educators of schools. We want to know, what do you think school will look like this coming fall? What is your vision? What do you think it will look like? Also, as the school year starts to come to an end, what was the hardest part of remote learning? And what is one thing you enjoyed about remote learning? Comment below and let us know in this video. We want to hear your answers. Please comment below and let us know. Now let's watch this video of the New Hampshire Department of Education launches a task force to recommended plans for school in fall. These are truly challenging times, but New Hampshire companies are here and open for business. Hi, I'm the School Transition Reopening and Redesign Task Force, or START, is the first step in restarting school in the fall. Work groups made up of educators, parents, and community organizations with input from the public will come up with recommendations in the case of full, limited, or no access to classrooms. We did a really good job pivoting this time, 
but that was in a bit of a crisis mode and we prefer not to be in crisis mode. So we're trying to think through what the possibilities might look like. And then even a plan if there's a resurgence where you have to suddenly go to remote learning again. Exactly. And it might even be community by community. So we may find ourselves that we're back in school in September, but maybe in November there's a surge in a particular community and that community needs to pivot to a remote instruction and support for a period of time and then come back. Other considerations. Remote instruction was a struggle for some students while others thrived. How to help individuals still work remotely if a student or teacher has a compromised family member at home? And could students take remote classes offered at other schools? Community surveys will be sent out and you'll be able to log into public meetings before the first recommendations are made at the end of June. This is a community conversation, right? So we want folks to weigh in. Jean Mackin, WMUR News 9. Okay, so um, there you go. So what do you think about that report in the New Hampshire Department of Education launching a task force? to recommend plans for school in the fall. And also, um, what do you think school will look like this fall? Your vision, what do you think that will look like? And as the school year starts to come to an end, what was the hardest part of remote learning? And what is one thing you enjoyed about remote learning? Comment below and let us know. We'd like to hear from all the teachers and parents that have children and all the educators out there. Let us know and comment below. I hope you have a wonderful evening. That does it for the question of the evening. Have a great evening and goodbye.